Hi friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome again to another JavaFX video tutorial. In this episode we're going to look at two classes, the tab pane and the tab. So let's get started. A tab is a single page of content that we can display on a screen and a tab pane is a control that allows us to switch between different tabs. Let's create a new tab pane. Tab pane equals new tab pane. And I'm going to add the tab pane to the center of our border pane, which is the root of our scene graph. Tab pane by itself is not of much use until we start creating and adding tabs to the tab pane. Let's create a tab and add it to our tab pane. Tab, tab one equals new tab. And when we create a tab, we can add some text, which essentially is a title for our individual tab. I'll just say tab one. And we'll add the tab to the tab pane. tabs dot add tab one organize our imports with control shift O and let's run the program and see what a single tab in a tab pane looks like and this is what we end up with so the tab pane is the container that contains the tabs in this case we only have a single the tab we created essentially has a title called tab one. Since this tab also currently has focus, it also has a close button. So we click on the close button, we can close the tab, and now we don't have anything in our tab pane. We can disable the close behavior for the tab. Tab one dot set closable false. Now when we run, the close button will no longer be available. Well, the tab itself again is not really of much use until we add content. Now the content that we add to a tab has to be a node of some sort. The node can be anything from a single control to a group of controls wrapped in a pane object. So let's now add a button to our tab control. Button, button one equals new button. Button one, button one. And now we'll add our button to our tab. Tab one dot set content, button one, run. And here you see we have a tab and the only content is a single button. Let's create and add another tab to our tab pane. Let's copy and paste. Let's change this to tab two, tab two, tab two, button two button two and tab two. We'll also add this to our tab pane. Run. And now we have two tabs, each with their own button. We can programmatically choose which of these two tabs is active when the tab pane is displayed. Tab pane dot get selection model dot select and we'll select the second this is a zero based list we'll select the second tab now when we run the tab with the focus should be tab number two a tab pane can display its tabs on either of the four sides the top the bottom the left or the right tab pane dot set side Side dot bottom. The default is to set the tab on the top of the tab pane. Run. And now you see the tabs are at the bottom of the tab pane. This can also be set to the left or to the right in addition to the default, which is the top. 
Adding a single component to a tab is not really that useful. The real power comes when you add multiple controls to and then add that layout pane to your tab. I'll just show you the mechanics of that. It's the same as you've seen in many other videos where I'm adding multiple components to a layout pane. Let's create, for example, a vertical box. Vbox1 equals new Vbox with spacing of 10 pixels. Vbox1 dot get children dot add all. In this case we only have one control, the button. Button 1. And then we'll add the Vbox to the tab. Again, just to reiterate, you create your user interface and then add that to the VBox, add the VBox to the tab, and add the tab to the tab pane. We'll now run, and now go back to, to tab one. Visually, there's no difference other than the fact that we now have the entire content of our first tab enclosed in a vertical box, which could contain multiple other controls. When there are more tabs than can be displayed in the available space in the tab pane, a menu button is displayed that will allow you to select from the available tabs. So I'm going to show you an example of that. First, I'm just going to comment what we've already created, and then I'm going to use a loop to create a number of tabs greater than the available space in our tab pane. So let's say for loop, i equals 1, i less than or equal to 20, i plus plus, tab equals new, tab, and the text or the title of the tab, I'll say tab plus integer dot to string, i, which is our loop counter, tab, tab, and the same for button, button, button equals new button, button plus integer dot to string, i, tab dot set content, button, Tab pane dot get tabs dot add tab and of course int. Now when we run the program, the loop that we've set up will create 20 tabs, and that's more than can be displayed. So we should see a menu button that will allow us to select any of the tabs that we've created. Run. And so you can see that we have more tabs that can be displayed horizontally. We can only see the first 18. And here's our menu button. We click on the menu button and it will show us the entire list of tabs that we have created and are available for selection. So for example, if we select the number 13, we'll go to tab number 13. You'll see that it currently has the focus and we see button 13 in tab number 13. That's the basics of the tab and the tab pane controls. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.